Welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Report. I'm Jerry Johnson, and you know, for this edition, I really just want to talk about, um, and this is going to be pretty brief uh, compared to most Gridiron reports, but I just want to talk about Sonny Cumbie being retained as offensive coordinator uh, by Joey McGuire. I thought it was smart the way they did it in terms of McGuire doing a video, looking, being on the on the field to Jones, you know, just saying. Look at the camera saying, you know, hey, Sonny Cumbie's my guy. He's going to be the offensive coordinator. And, you know, I wrote about it on Twitter. And actually, Coach McGuire liked what I said. Um, I wrote, basically, I was going to read it, but basically the gist is, um, look, I like, overall, I like the idea of Sonny Cumbie coming back. Um, and I know a lot, that, that doesn't sit well with everyone. There's some people that aren't excited at all about Cumbie coming back. Not, I mean, everybody likes Sonny Cumbie. So it's not that. It's just that. Uh, you know, they'd like another option, an offensive coordinator. I think that is that is fine to feel that way, absolutely. I mean, I think there is some debate. Like, I don't think this is an open and shut thing. Like, oh, this is what it should be. I mean, I, I think there should be varied opinions on this, and I understand the uh, other side of, of the coin here. But my perspective is I feel like the offense has made improvement under Sonny Cumbie. Now, I'm saying that after they just got shut out for the first time in decades. Um, but it was against a good defense, young quarterback, who obviously got rattled. Um, and I'm not making excuses. I mean, it was bad. And I get he sh and as an offensive coordinator and, and interim head coach, Cumbie should shoulder a lot of the blame, and he has. Um, but overall, the season, things I've seen, I've been impressed. I think it, the offense has improved. I mean, it has. Um, also, the fact that McGuire and Cumbie know each other so well is very helpful. I mean, in just in terms of the transition. So I'm not, and I'm not saying he's only going to be like a stopgap OC. I'm just saying it makes sense to me. I get it. Um, also, Sonny Cumbie is a proven, I mean, he's been an offensive coordinator for a while. He has experience. He knows the Big 12. Um, he knows the recruiting landscape. Um, he is a easy uh, example of, hey, here's a guy who came to Texas Tech, did it big, won a big bowl game against Cal, was like number two or three or whatever in the country at the time put up record-setting numbers in the Holiday Bowl, you know, and gets it. And he's coached here several times under, I don't, I can't, I've lost track how many coaches now. Like four different head coaches, maybe even more. So, uh, you know, Cumbie is a Texas Tech guy. It makes sense. He has had some success as a coordinator. And then also, and I think this needs to be understood and thought about, McGuire, when he was introduced as head coach and then in his Q&A, multiple times he expressed his desire to play complementary football. And he wants coordinators who are going to do that. And what does that mean? So you ask me, what does that mean? Well, it means, okay, um, considering what situation you would put the defense in by calling certain plays. And then the defense also playing a certain way, knowing, hey, okay, this is what our offense looks like, what they're trying to do today. So calling plays and playing a certain way based on your offense. And then special teams also mixes in there. When you go for a fourth down, what kind of punt? What kind of kick? What do you? All that stuff. How aggressive you are in terms of, of uh, fake fakes and all of it. <clears throat> should we take a field goal? Or should we take a touchdown? Should you know go for a touchdown? All all those things are what coaches or like what Coach McGuire or myself would say about complementary football. And instead of these three phases of the game operating independently and just hope that they all work out in the end, actually having a formula, a plan of attack utilizing all three phases of the game. And I do see where Cumbie understands that. I think the fact that he changed the communication with the play calling, the pump jack stuff, all that stuff tells me Cumbie gets it. Um, I, I, just before the Oklahoma State game, I was sitting in the in the preview presser listening to him talk, and it occurred to me that he's in his element. He's not in over his head as an interim head coach. I don't think he's in over his head as an offensive coordinator. So I don't like all his calls. I'm not saying that. There's some times I'm like, ah, this is the kind of air raid type too cute thing here. Uh, but he's also come up with some uh, trick plays that have worked. <clears throat> he's shown an ability to understand the uh, the game, the situation, situational football, which not all coaches get, quite honestly, um, or seem to get. Uh, so I, I get it. I get why Sonny Cumbie is retained. I think it's a good thing for the program. I think they're going to do good things together. And it'll be interesting to see very soon – we're going to hear about most, if not all, the rest of the staff. It will be um, public. It will be 
out there after the Baylor game. With uh, I'm I'm hearing maybe the next day or within a couple of days, right after the Baylor game, we'll start hearing a lot about these these coaches that are going to be filling these spots and coaching, uh, you know, for the Red Raiders under Joey McGuire next season. So that'll be fun times. That'll be very interesting. But this one of these one of the first steps uh, in terms of it is the first step of full time assistant coach is Sonny Cumbie as offensive coordinator, and ultimately I do believe that's a good thing. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.